Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Fish, you son of a no! Bro, what? You scum! Stories tailored by how I play. Let's see about that. Telltale Games. If y'all. Telltale Games, if y'all can see this. I played some of y'all's game before. Please see this. <laughs> Just get into the game. Episode one, a new day. Ooh, looking like a real show right here. Hold up. This is our boy. Oh, we got arrested, didn't we? Mm -mm. Hope y'all ready, cause I am. <laughs> All right. Am I the only hype here? I don't know. Y'all have to at least put some energy here too. <laughs> Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Do it? Did what? Uh, why do you say that? Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Hmm. And what do you say, officer? And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. Because I probably didn't. All right, you know what I mean? Oh, I can move around. Okay, small icon on the rear view mirror. That? Okay. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. Uh, you got, you from making? You're from making, then. Yep, came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. I always wanted to work a murder case. Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. Hmm. A real shame, that is. Okay. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. So what, did I get arrested in the morning? Jeez. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. Six. You meet your wife in Athens? Oh, he looks stubborn. You wanna know how I see it? Uh, sure. What's up with these cops' cars and shot? Sure. FBI. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. I? Or she married the wrong guy? <sighs> I didn't say it. Okay. Any of that seem important to you? All of it, but that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. Right. So much FBI's coming pulling up. Over Atlanta something? I'm Where driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you're sitting. Oh. Why make me sit there then? Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. But that's government property. And I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. I gotta go to sleep. Stops and having exhausted all that. his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Maybe it wasn't him. Sorry about that notification. It told me to go to sleep just for my health. Maybe he was innocent. I don't need to worry about that. Innocent? I'm in a video. All right. They caught the f***er red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed Whoa. it himself. It goes to show people up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Possibly. Oh, I got another good one for you. Um, this one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious. Wait, there's somebody in the road! Watch out! This other time... Nope. Nah, they did. And y'all up in a car crash. What the heck? Died in a car crash. Look at all these freaking zombies. 
Is that the cop? Oh, I feel like the cop is dead by now. alive no more hey hey officer are you all right i'm still cuffed back here why would you ask that he's already what the hell did he have his gun out for real like i would have taken that if he didn't handcuff me something kick this one uh. kick it uh. keep peeking it uh. kick it uh. yes sir i need to Drag myself out that window. Ah. Oh. Ah. Ah. Got long legs, buddy. Looks empty. Hmm. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Dang. Injured leg, boy. That car real dead. Don't even start picking his booty. I don't know why I had to say that in the video, but... For... I'm, I'm my bad. How you... Wow. Just get it. Alright, look. If that cop wakes up, freaking kick his face, stomp his something, I don't know. Gotta feel bad for the cop, because, I mean, he's dead, so. Officer? Oh, that wasn't scary at all. What the hell? What the f are you? Hold Get the gun. Get away from me! The gun. Get it. Shit. Bro, that, I? that thing is far away. Just for Don't make me do this! Just do it. Now, Lee, why would you throw that out? You would have picked that up. Uh, hello? Help! Go get someone! There's been a shooting! You shot him. What? I want to pick that shotgun up. Oh, the game won't let me be like that, bruh. More zombies? Wow. Ah! Just keep on moving out. Hello? Anybody? Hmm. Big city I'm in. I'd fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Hmm. Treehouse. Anybody up there? Alright, I guess Help! they don't... Alright, I guess they don't want to 
help. Somebody! Yell if you can hear me! Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Or just slid the door open. Coming in! Don't shoot, okay? Nobody in here has no gun. Well, you don't know who has a gun. Ah! Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. And I really don't know why you would These call... These people might need more help than I do. Bowl of fruit. It's fake. Damn. Imagine. Alright, let's go to the kitchen. Pool of blood. <sighs> Jesus. So I definitely die right there. How did you... F How did you slip on that blood? A pool. Or a pool of blood. What's that beeping? Pretty sure it's that call or something. I don't know. Drawer. Walkie talkie? Give me that. Look there at the are three drawer. new messages. Wow, I don't want to check. What's that? Glass water? <sighs> okay, I just thought that was kind of weird how you would, like, literally drink somebody else's water or something. Three new messages. Message one, left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Is this her parents? Message Something? Two. Left at Clementine, who's... Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. And they're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let it, me know that you're safe. It's so nice you Message crying. three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. It's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Dang. Is that a picture of her parents? Hmm. Daddy? Huh? Is that her? Clementine? Hello? You need to be quiet. Um, I'm not a... Who is this? Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Okay, so Hi, was Clementine. Right? I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No. But why'd you call him daddy? I'm not. You're looking for her. Hmm. Where are your parents? Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Oh, uh, where are you? Where are you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. <laughs> oh. oh. Put it, put it, put it, put it, swipe it. Mm. Now run. How'd you hit? How did you hit your neck on the? I don't know what you even tripped on. Kick him back. You're let. You're for real about to let her crawl on you. Hold it. Hold him. Hold him. Swipe right down. I don't think I did it correctly. Smash her! Come on. Here. And smash him. Here's Johnny. Okay, not that aggressively. 
Man. Oh. Hi there. Jeez, you're filled with blood, Lee. Did you kill it? Um, yeah. Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Yeah, I think so, too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. Hmm. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Um, look for it before it gets dark? I don't know about that. I just rather just once before the sun goes down. We need down. to get out of this neighborhood. It's not safe. We're less likely to be seen if we move at night. My mm. parents might come home. We won't go far. We'll try to find shelter and come back here with others. That sounds good. But we can hide in my treehouse until then. It'll be a tough climb with this leg, but that's a good idea. Let's mm. go. Stay close to me. Alright. Still with an injured leg. Now let's stay quiet. We'll head out to the front yard and follow the road out of the neighborhood. Okay. It'll be okay. Stay near me. And we'll move as fast as we can. Alright. Dang, can you wait up Clemens to the gate? I guess. Alright. We getting out. So, this is the neighborhood. Jeez. It's all rusty ever since. I found the bastard! Hello? Oh, there's some cops. Are we going to die? They're after me. They're right? after me, not you. Why? <laughs> Don't you want to know why? Georgia State Patrol! Dude, he won't listen to that. Well, We're friendly. friendly. There's a little girl here. Mm. Oh, sh you're not one of those things. Of course we're Neither not. Neither of us are. Oh, damn, you've got a little girl. We're sorry about that. Well, Andre's sorry about that. Yep. It's Officer Mitchell. Mitch. Mm. Cool name. My name's Sean. Sean Green. This is Andre. Officer Mitchell. Did you see any of those things? One of them just got our buddy Chet. Chet? I mean, I saw one in the forest. I saw a lot in the forest, but that was a while ago. Yeah, one we're looking for is still in the neighborhood. Oh, sh you hurt your leg pretty bad. Look, yep. help us find the thing that got our buddy, and we'll take you and your daughter down to my dad's farm to safety. He should be able to fix your leg up too. I'm not a dad. I'm uh, her a neighbor. neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Whoever you are, let's get a move on. We just were. Is that oh, shit? shit? It's shit. Uh, let's go. Oh, get to my he car. Not, he not real. Go. No are you even gonna? Okay, you refuse to shoot him. I have no explanations for that. Y'all are really... Dang, y'all really breaking stuff here. Is this his dad's Say hi to your dad for me. Yeah. Hmm. I'm sorry, Sean. Chet was a good dude. One of the best. Hmm. Take care, you two. I don't think they told us who Chet was, but I guess R.I.P. to Chet. Thank now God he's a freaking you're okay. living monster. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. 
I ran into Andre outside of Atlanta, and, uh, Chet, he got killed. No. You're kidding. Those mm. things got him. Dad, I don't know what's going on. It's I'm sorry, walkers. Sean. You've brought a couple guests. Mm-hmm. Uh, we just need some help. We just need a little help. We won't stay long. Good. You're welcome to stay here, but just for the night. I don't run a bed and breakfast. So it's mm. just you and your daughter, then? Oh, not uh, his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Yep. Yes, sir. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Alright. I already feel like this dad don't even, like, trust me. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It sure is. Uh, stop turning on, Siri. Could be worse. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Herschel Green. Full name. How'd this happen? Car accident. Car accident. That's so. Where are yeah. you headed before the car accident? It was um out of Atlanta, I guess. That's what it's called. I was getting out of Atlanta. Or the somewhere. news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl? A police officer. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch bar. your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. With what happened to your friend? Maybe that's not a bad idea. Hmm. That's where we're sleeping? Who are those people? I don't know. It smells like... Come on, say it, Lee. <gasps> I'm sorry, I shouldn't talk like that. <laughs> Look at her that face. That was a swear. Okay, that kind of got me right there. The face. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Yeah, you just get some rest, little girl. Or Clementine. Why is it playing that scary music? Did you get nightmares? What happened? Hey, get up. Morning. Ooh. I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of a fence. Up, There's Kenny? a tractor and everything. Hmm. We better get going or we won't hear the end of it. Right. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. The duck? Like dodging? Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Uh, let's see how things turn out. Maybe. Up. We'll see how things shake out with this Herschel guy. <laughs> Good luck with that. He's a hard... Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. 
Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Okay, Kenny and Sean... I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Alright. Not gonna lie, Kenny and Sean both, they look like they're pretty nice guys, not gonna lie. So this is the tractor. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. And this is Duck? That's what they call him? How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! Really wants to ride on the tractor then, I guess. Alright, let's talk to Sean for a little bit. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Ooh. Was the boy one of the walkers? Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. <laughs> Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... Yeah, I had to shoot one. I had to shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. Right. How about yours? How's your family? Um... Parents My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Hey there, girls. You two actually look you relaxed. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, first grade? How's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Hmm. I learned Clementine is a first grader. So she's like six, seven years old? I can... How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some just... Just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. Okay. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow. But even then, I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Oh. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Um, things happen for a reason. This could all be providence, you know? Not what we saw. You just never realize when something is happening to you, what you're being given. Maybe this will all work out. Your optimism is refreshing. New. These past couple days, at least. Mm, what do you do? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except Lauderdale? more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. Hmm. My mistake. Uh, yeah, my mistake. Kachi's we'll all be home soon. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Most people have been through stuff. All right, I've been through stuff too. So, we can all relate. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets a job done. Mm. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Help? Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do uh, you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Mm, 
Oh, no kids. Nah, nah. No, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. How's your son doing? How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. Mm. I was on the in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Oh, I feel that. What's your plan? So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial yeah. fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Kachi wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not mm. that bad. See you. Okay. okay, I see you, Kenny. Learned that Kenny has a boat. Let me hop in the boat. Um, doesn't look like he liked me. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Uh... Got I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place wow. like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? I guess... Parents are making. My parents are in Macon, with my brother. Well, I hope they're alright. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Uh... I was being attacked. I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I okay. give you a piece of advice? Uh, sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. Hmm. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Huh? Go! Oh, that's the... I'll get my gun. Better get it quick, Green. Ah! Oh gosh, zombies in the daytime? Um, sorry, Sean, but we got saved up. He's a kid. What if he pulled up? Oh, he pulled Bro. Oh, uh, can I punch him? Alright. Let's go. Alright, now get, now get Sean. Get Sean. Of Come on, get him. Please, Kenny. Me, please. Oh, my. Wow. This made my lips so ashy, bro. Get out. Oh no, he's Get the f out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. And you! You didn't even try to help. I thought I could help them both. I thought I could help them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now... Please... Just go. Get out and never come back, bro. 
All right, see what happened to you, Herschel Green. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. Hmm. Duck loved the tractor so much, he probably pulled the wrong tricker. Yo, where the freak are we at now? Is this making? I feel like it is. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Dang, look at the whole thing. Road cracked, bodies everywhere, look. car crash. I don't hey think there, that's you friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Yup, that's not friendly. Fuck! Oh. It's a real play dead on us. Oh. Run. Okay, stop wasting our ammo, whoever you are. Get it. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fing mean it. We don't know who these people are. It could be dangerous. Are y'all for real throwing a whole Worse. argument? They could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Then we let them. Whoa, chill the Look out, lady. We're just people trying to avoid those things. Just like you. Don't for come real. Here and swear at me. I'll say well, whatever I want if you start threatening these people. Mm. You'll have to excuse him, her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I I have to pee. I'd go out there again uh, in a second. In a, in a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God mm, get damn him, it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying. We're in a war zone. Uh, she's an that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, that's you don't have to be a about it. Holy sh son of a one of them is bitten! Well, he's not even bitten. What are you talking about? He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my Psych? dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm to cleaning him nose, up. There's no kid. fight. He's fine. Don't you people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta For throw real, him shut up. Or smash his head in. Kenny, stop it! What, the? what do we do about this guy? Pop yeah, another hole in his just nose. A boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason, reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. And Everyone get him, shut Kenny. The out. Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. Then and why y'all just shut the f up? They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this wanna... will f matter. Do you want right to beat them that badly, then? We're about to be trapped go. in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's no, he's how not. you turn! Oh, he's my. not bitten! Please stop this! It's upsetting him! Oh! I'm upsetting him! Upsetting is getting eaten alive! Yeah, it's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumb. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of here, boy. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's Facts. another way! Yeah, with a shovel. Yeah, I'll I'm gonna nose, kill him, kid. Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just yeah, looking out for my daughter. No, you're Psych. just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in just... muck. She'll find the bite. Watch! She won't. And if she does... The first she thing he'll do you. is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce He's on you. He's just a boy. He's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? Yeah. Don't be an real. uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. 
and we're tossing them out now. Bruh, no, stop him. You don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. Yeah. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here too. You want to get violent, Joel? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! Mm, get him, Lee. Huh? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> <Come in> time. <laughs> get him. Oh, wow. Get him. Come on, get her, get her. Get your vision now. Get her. Get away from her, you son of a... Hold it, hold it. Come on, come on. Who was that? The girl? Was that the woman? Okay. You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Clem will remember I protected her? They're gonna get in. Shut up. For real. Larry, whatever his name is. Is that the military? Oh, is that the FBI? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this and the Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad. Ah! This man is ah! autistic. What's wrong with him? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Really? To the office? This is probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. Educated. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting Got to think him. this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Hmm. You know the way around town? You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift okay. in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Is that the whole mission we gotta do? Alright, I guess so. First, um, let me talk to Doug. He seems a pretty cool guy. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, oh right. Huh. Um, not now. Sorry, uh, Doug. Not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. All right, first let's see Carly. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't f with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Girl, you know I'm not. What are you working on? What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. All right. Power. Hmm, now we're nothing. Here. Antenna. Oh, yes, sir. Enlarge it. Battery door. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Alright. Well, it sounds like somebody's hungry over there. We can't let anything I... happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Did I just find the batteries? Oh, cool. 
How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. You didn't have to call me a in front of my people. I don't know. I was that a girl. All right? It's hard enough to be in charge of people's lives without some cutting you down. I was And that violence before with my dad. That didn't help. I'm pretty sure I wasn't, girl. Come on. Uh, you're from, you're from here? here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of heads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. Huh. What do you think, what about, do you all think this? about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more more of them i mean jesus we need to stick together and get through this anyone anyone here when you was guys got the anyone scene? here when you guys got here no this place was pretty wrecked we pulled a couple of bodies out of the office are you okay yeah i'm fine did right. you know anybody here yeah the owners they were uh, we were close i'm sorry we found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. We found some energy bars. Let's talk to Clementine. Give her these fools. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Took care of Clementine. All right, now I feel like I kind of want to see outside right now. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Sure, buddy. Let's have a look around. Okay. Wow. What happened to the military? Whoever was. Oh, they ate him. They could better be sick. He just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Yep. Any idea where the pharmacy keys might Any be? Any idea where the pharmacy keys might be? We searched high and low inside before you guys got here. They weren't on the old couple we took out of the office. Mm. Are you okay? I'm fine. If the keys aren't in the drugstore, think they could be out of here? We now live in a world where getting up and walking away is an actual possibility, so... Right. Right, right. All right. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. What's up there? Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Hmm. Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, that's all I know. Uh, and this is what's called Macon? Lee, we live in Macon? Look at the one trapped over there. Better him or us, huh? Oh, sh What? Uh, do you know that guy? Uh, kind of? Kind of, he has a familiar face. Ah, uh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know? They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, dog. Oh. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. Take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. How'd you end up here? Well, I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. 
What about you? Uh, there's some folks here. Grew up here, yeah. I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so you probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Alright, let's just head back inside. Let's head back inside. Okay. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah, well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Pallet. Is that the thing that we're supposed to get in? What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Dang. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. That's... Sometimes that's true. Sometimes whatever you say is not. It could change any time, you know? Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Yes, sir. Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. How are you? Mm. Dude, things have been scary? Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. Yep. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. Look okay, at Clementine, wholesome. Do you have wholesome. kids? No. You don't have a family? No, let's okay. not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Dead. Because they're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay, because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Ow! Hmm? Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. It's the remote to my dad's TV. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Um, they'll find us, don't worry. If I, fi if I pick... Lee? I don't think they will. They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? 
Alright, let's just get her the band-aid note. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. That, put the band-aid Let's get it. this cut covered up. Yes, please. This is wholesome right here. I just call it wholesome because Lee's just a nice guy. The picture? I, I don't think that's the only thing we haven't looked at yet. Find anything? Claire? Clara? Clary? Something. It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> okay, Claire. Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? Um... No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. Well, good. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Uh, thanks. Thanks. Don't worry she'll about it. Okay, she'll remember I trusted her. Alright. She thought of, he thought about some weird stuff from Clary. Claire. Wanna head back into Yo. the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? Had to protect yourself. That's right. Oh, okay. Oh, this yeah. battery should fit the radio. Yep. Great. That's what Thanks. I was about. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever. This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <laughs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. So now we got something going on. We got... Go my bad. We got Glenn on the walkie-talkie telling us that he's somewhere else there trying to get supplies for us to get out of here. And we got we got Carly about to come with us right after we you know, do this thing. So flip them batteries backwards. As the unknown you fixed it. continues to spread unchecked, the estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals state. you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, what? Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved one... God bless you all. 
Alright. I think uh I'm ready to go now. Hey, Carly. Oh. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Yes. Yeah. Let's go. Is he so close? Okay, uh, that kind of sounded like that? he made a beat. Nothing. Sure wrong. did. Be ready to shoot. That's Gl that's Glenn. What you Guys, oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. Hmm. Uh, right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. Survivor. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? Crying. It's a girl. We talked, and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me, and, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Think about if it was you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Damsel in distress. Wow. And there's two zombies up there trying to get him. I don't know what that zombie over there doing, but... Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly, noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. Of course. Alright, tap an arrow to peek. Yep, I know what to do. What is that? Pillow? We can take that? That's the Good first thing I already found. That's not really what I have in mind. Alright. Oh shoot! All right, never mind. Peek for too long, and you, I will be seen. Oh, uh, I I understand. If we stay up like that for too long, we probably will be seen. Oh. Truck? What's in there? Window. Ow! Hey, man, that drew some attention. Be careful. What are you gonna do with that? Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools, or making a bunch of noise, and none with pillows. What can we do with them? Pillows on? Get out your gun. But the noise? Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. Oh, smack them. That was sick! Oh, the zombie coming right now. Let's look inside the car. I don't know if I was trying to push the car. I don't know. I'm in looking in. Gear shift. Oh, well, yeah, obviously that'll work. It's a sparky thing. Spark plug. You should hold on to that. Could come in handy. Are you sure? Yeah, I just pushed the car over, probably. Oh, did I just move that for a little that? That was awesome! <laughs> that just blew a big wave. Never mind, not massive. Did you use spark plug for that? Wait! Let me see the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Okay, strong feet. So throw. <laughs> Still being quiet. Still being quiet. Come on, get it. Oh, I thought that was a screwdriver. That could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. So now I think it's just that zombie and the other one, maybe. 
we going back. That zombie, we got some things to deal with. Oh, he munching on that thing real good. Let's go. Now, I think we got two more actually this time. One behind here. Yes, sir. Lure him, lure him, lure him. I'll wait for him to get closer. Then stand up. Then. Right up. Sir, mm -hmm. go to sleep. All we need to do is just get that axe. Something to shut up. Oh, got him, dude. Where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> Holy, it's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? Not yet, Clary. Car Carly. Two more. That should help. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay, we'll be right behind you. I'll keep going up the stairs. Yup, this lease apartment. Apartment, buddy. Apartment. Now we just sneak up on them. Yes, sir, and then they're gonna see me. Stop soon. Alright, what's up? Do something. Yes, sir, got him. And then the other zombie. Do something. Alright, yes, sir. Alright. The girl that's stuck in this apartment. What is she doing? Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Stop, just stop. I'm coming out. Okay. Oh, she is oh, God. musty looking. I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, oh, I no. said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? What? I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please, just leave me. Please go. Oh, uh, I, I okay. Guess. We'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. Um, you have a gun. So can I borrow it? What do you mean uh, borrow? Give it to me. I can just. You know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, oh, she, whoa! Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, oh no, is she? They're satanic. No, nah, she's trying to commit suicide. You can't have we that. We can't gun. let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me. We need to get going. Give it to me, please. This is crazy. Please step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and no. it will be fine. Miss. Back up! Please! Um. Whoa! <laughs> oh. Whoa, take it uh. easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find yeah. you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! no. no. Oh my... Wow, she for real went for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you barfed out because of that? Let's get out of here. We all been knowing she was suicidal, bro. And more back. Here they come! 
Oh wait, any more bullets. Get in! Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, yes, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah, we're okay. I've got a few canes of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Mm. How you doing, Glenn? You know. Uh, Black Hat, do you know the combination Do you know the, the combination lock? for the lock on the gate outside? Why? Oh, you know, I thought I'd go stretch my legs. You're probably better off breaking it if you have to. What's your next move, What's your next bro? move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. I hate feeling like I can't do anything. I know mm. the feeling, man. And my little girl over here, Clementine, is hungry, so let me get her this full real quick. Hey there. Hi. Uh, can, can I, I get, you anything? Uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Clem. I'll see if I can find something else for you. Uh, how's, how's your, your finger, finger? Clem? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good. Despite the circumstances. Yep. I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? Okay. Same. You're my guy? Oh, no. You know. Come on. We're gonna try to take care of each other. Yes. Deal. We'll sit tight. Okay. Check on Clementine. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an a but, you know. Yeah, that guy saved you? Yeah, can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are, they were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. Shut up. You have a crush on him, I guess. How'd you, How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. Alright, good talking with Carly. I'm concerned. TV store? Remote, what can we do? Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? You can handle it's universal. That? I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Okay. That got a few of them to take notice. Was that the same zombie I just killed over at the back alley? But not enough. Oh. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out it's how to itchy. get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Hmm. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. I feel like that's a bad thing, cause we just broke the lock. Is it even able? Is it able to? Are we able to like lock it anymore? Or what? I can finally take the brick and throw it over there. Throw it over there. 
Do it, my man Lee. Do it, Lee. Do it, Lee. Yeah. Got him. Sorry about that noise, guys. Can. Okay, it distracted them. I want to go over there now. Lee's brother? No wonder why he knows him. Keep an eye out, will you? That's his brother. We just gotta do it. Dang. <sighs> Notice how the music stopped right after he did that? <sighs> Bro, just keep doing it then. <sighs> yes, sir, once again. All these GTA graphics that I have to play. I think it's all done. <sighs> I feel like he's dead now. We can take the key. God. There we go. Holy crap! Run! No. Alright. We get moving. We moving. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. Mm. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Alright. Um, key. Door to the pharmacy. Now, let's enter. Oh no. Phone call. We gotta hurry. Oh. Zombies? They heard the ring. They heard the. Oh. They heard the phone ringing, and now, why, how is a phone ringing that loud? Oh my Doctor, god. Come on, give me time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Alright, that door's not locked anymore. You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. Come on. Come on. Uh, we hope it's strongest at the team. If we don't make it through this, you should know that. I think you're a great guy. Oh, uh, thanks. Thanks, Doug! Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. Oh, uh, oh punch him. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. <laughs> On it. Yeah, I love you. Sure? Love him, crush. I don't know. Oh. Okay, then. Come 
Valentine, can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. No. It's that choice again. Oh, um, this just happened an hour ago. Oh, I'm not. Bro, I don't know who to save. Doug or Carly? I don't. I don't know, man. I don't know. We gotta. We gotta pick Carly. I'm sorry. She got freaking extra ammo. Oh! Ow! Come on! Bro! Oh my God! Come on, get him. Get Offer. 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 Just go, just go. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, let's go. Let's go. No! Bro, what? You scum! Oh, oh let's go. I'm not oh yes, sir. Else get eaten today. Oh, let's Especially go, Danny or Kenny. Come on, let's go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, Larry. I'm pretty sure I wasn't too hype or barely was feeling hype. I don't know. We all guess that, but we made it out of there. Freaking, I don't know what the frick Larry was on. All pills for you, the keys we've been what we've been going through just for you to punch me in the face. Wow, Larry. I'll put in all my respect onto Kenny for that. Kenny Kenny the GOAT, man. Oh yeah, still memories. RIP Doug. Okay. Bro, look at who we have left. Carly. Larry. The freaking scum Larry. Got Glenn. Kenny. Hood. Kad Kaja, I think. Duck. Clementine. Dang. Hey, Glenn. I forgot we had Lily too. I think I need to go. Mm. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Don't worry about that, Lily. She looking dusty, man. All right, go find your find friends. Find your friends. Be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup, and I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. Have faith on you, Glenn. Episode two. Hope you don't die. That girl. Hey, she was suicidal, but she had to do what she had to do earlier. Bro, 
We've lost like how many people did we lose? Two, three? I don't know. Hey kid. Close call back there. Thanks mm -hmm. for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man, do any of us? With Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the man, Candy, Candy Man. I almost said Candy Man. And I ain't talking about the movie, come on now. But again, shout out to Kenny and your family. Hope they do it all right. Carly over here. He's probably she's probably gonna talk about her love towards Doug. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do. Yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met, and he was such a. It's just that I think that I liked him. Mm. I'm sure he liked you too, Carly. Well, I'm Claire. sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. Oh. We, I, we was gonna help you both. I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Next thing you know, episode two, we lose another crush. I suspect Larry was super dinosaur was toast. Sus. He wasn't. Oh, and then. Hey, Duck, uh, you wanna cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. Hmm. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. Hmm. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Hmm, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense. But it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. <sighs> Let me go deal with this. Poor Clementine. Oh man, Clementine. Another I guess thing. Doug. Well, I suspect you, you, Larry. You like my daughter? Uh, not really. Not really. Good. Stay away from her. Where everyone here knows that Lee Everett is a killer. And I'm not talking about those things out there. Am I killing you anybody right me? now? I ask you a question, boy. Then again, I wouldn't expect a convicted murderer to listen to anything anybody's got to say. I know who you are. Okay, yeah, I don't what give about a it? about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you... You watch your. Okay, you watch your big old nose. And I'm hey, gonna dig a hole Lee, in it. Do you have a second? Look at him watching, bro. Weirdo. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. Not bad. I okay. actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Go to warn us. Oh, everything's off. To be continued. Yo, I've been... 
It's still not done yet? Next time on The Walking Dead? I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. Mm -hmm. Oh. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. Does kill somebody? Oh no! They really showed us a whole preview for episode two. I mean, back in the past, everybody already played episode two, so y'all know I'm just the late one. Honesty lies to Herschel. Me and 63% of players were honest. Duck or Sean Fort? Half, half, half of the players. Including me chose Duck. Side with Kenny, me and 48% of players defended Kenny. Gave Irene the gun. Her name was Irene? Doug or Carly? 76 chose Carly. But anyways, I'm gonna just continue. Let me just roll the clips. It's like kind of like that Twilight Zone, you know? That's what I kind of feel about The Walking Dead. But I guess that's gonna wrap it up for the first episode of The Walking Dead. Um, we learned mad stuff from other people now that we've been talking to him we learned that clementine was a first grader we learned obviously claire or carly was an atlanta officer doug knew a lot of stuff about the tv remote devices we knew that freaking larry is a freaking scum because he punched us in the face for no reason he thought he he thought we was bad we're here to help not to slaughter I feel like these episodes are like two hours long, I think. I feel like some of these are like hours, hours long. That was whole episode one playthrough. I've been recording for almost about two hours at this point. But if y'all ready to see a boy, Aaron Muslim, play episode two, starved for help, y'all know what to do. Prayers on that like button for your boy. Subscribe if y'all want to join the Muslim gaming community. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum, my dear brothers and sisters.